What's going on everybody? This is Dave from Steel City Drones. Today we got major news on the DJI front. We have a new Enterprise drone that has just been released and announced and it is the predecessor here of the Matrice 300. It is the Matrice 350. So this aircraft right here it's been out for over three years. I cannot believe how time flies. Basically, they are retaining the Matrice 300 platform, essentially. It's going to be the same size and very just small changes, but a lot of these changes are going to make big differences to a lot of people that have been waiting for a few different important things. So we're gonna to get to a lot of things and I noticed there was a couple things in the specs that I saw on a DJI website that DJI did not cover in their release video. So we're gonna to touch upon those as well. They're putting out new batteries. So this is a TB60 battery. It is the old style battery. The new batteries are gonna be the same size. But right off the bat, I see with the new batteries, there's new cooling fin designs. And that's been one of the problems that I noticed with the current TB60 batteries is that in the warmer months when it's more humid outside, let's say 80 to 85 degrees, once we start dropping down to about 30%, even in the high 20s, we're reaching maximum uh, the temperatures that we don't want to exceed. So with these new design fins that I see, I am very confident that that's going to be able to heat to keep the battery temperatures down. And the number one thing that kills batteries is heat. You're probably wondering, are the new batteries going to give us any more flight time? So when I'm comparing, at least on the specs wise, I'm not seeing anything on there. So we're obviously, we're going to get one of the very first M350s out there. We're going to test this completely and we're going to do a complete full review video on that platform and testing all these capabilities that we're talking about to complement the new TB65 batteries is a new charging station. And I can see right off the bat that it has the capability of putting them also in storage mode or a fast charge mode up to 90%. That means we'll be able to fully charge or get least get these batteries usable to 90% in probably about 30 minutes. So that's a couple new improvements that the current BS60 battery charging station does not have. Another important note about the TB65 batteries is that they are reverse compatible with the M300. So if you have an M300 and you want to get the new improved batteries, you can buy them as well. You can also use the brand new station as well, and that's also reverse compatible. So they're really taking a lot of good leads in here that trying to make things as reverse compatible as possible, like the sensors and everything, that's all going in a very good direction I'd like to see. Another major improvement is now the RC Plus remote that has been only available on the Matrice 30 is actually available now for the new M350. Now, originally when the M30 came out, DJI announced that this remote controller was going to be compatible with the M300, but that never has happened yet, and I am not sure if that's going to happen. And as you can see, side by side, the new RC Plus remote is a huge improvement. And if you've seen any of our review videos on the M30, you're going to know that this by far is my favorite remote that I have ever used in the 12 years that I've been flying. It's very intuitive. It just works. The workflow on it is outstanding. The shortcut buttons make things a lot easier to use. We have finite control on the zooming and everything. So that's a really big thing. Another thing that I'm very happy to see, the current sensors are still compatible with the M350. So the H20, H20T, the H20N, and also CZI's brand new C30N camera is also compatible with both platforms. So that's really good news. I'm sure they haven't specifically said, but I assume also the L1, the P1 also will be still compatible. So those cameras are still gonna be in the workflow of all of these platforms that we're having here. So let's say, for example, you have a current M300 and you have 
all the different camera sensors already, and you want to upgrade to the M350 as well because you really like some of these new improvements, but you don't want to buy any camera sensors. It's looking that's going to be all the camera sensors that we're having right now are going to still be compatible, which is a very big deal. Another huge improvement that I just automatically saw in the specs on here is the new O3 Enterprise transmission. That's going to improve the overall range up to 12 miles. That's from 9 miles to 12 miles. So we're going to get three more miles of range transmission in here. And again, I can see where DJI is going with this is that, you know, we have remote ID coming out and we're going to start seeing beyond line of sight flying and also deliveries. I can see this now being a platform where this is going to be really huge in a utility platform market where everybody wants to do far range of power line inspections. Now we're going to be able to go up to 12 miles autonomously once we're, the FAA is going to allow us to be able to do that. Another improvement on the new platform is that they improved the FPV camera from 960 lines of resolution to 1080. So it now is a full HD camera and it has much better low light capabilities on there. Another improvement that they've made with the M350 is now they have a new arm locking detection system where it, with the previous model here with the 300, it's just been manually and you tighten it up there. But we've actually seen some of our customers where they forget to completely tighten these up in the air and it has caused a crash. So now with the new detection system, that's not going to happen. So with that said, now that's exactly where we are with the new aircraft. We are taking pre-orders. Also, we have a brand new Instagram page. So if you want to see what we're doing actually before we actually put out YouTube videos, we are putting out new content every single day on our Instagram page, showing you all the different training projects we got going on, all of the new things that we're testing. So if you want to really stay in touch with what we're doing at Steel City Drones, check out our new Instagram page. And if you haven't yet, please help us grow the channel. Hit the subscribe button and we'll send you more content more frequently. So thanks again. If you have any questions about the M350, please give us a call or contact us at our support email below. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Steel City Drone Flight Academy offers the most comprehensive on-site commercial remote pilot training program in the United States. Our team of professional drone instructors has more than 30 years of combined experience and have trained more than 1,000 students to fly drones commercially. We offer on-site training anywhere in the United States. Dave King from Steel City Drones is a pioneer in the drone industry and is one of the most experienced remote pilots with more than 18,000 logged flights and over 10 years of flying experience. After working with more than 800 clients, Dave has taken everything that he has learned and incorporated it into Steel City Drones training program to prepare you to be the best commercial pilot possible. Our most popular training package is a four-day commercial program. Day one, it's an introduction to drones day, an introduction to flying day, equipment familiarization. Day two is all day flying. It's our advanced flying. You learn up to 15 different practice exercises. You learn how to fly manually without any automation. And you're gonna be amazed by the things that you can do by the end of the day. The third day is what we call advanced ground school. We teach you everything that the part 107 test does not. And that's gonna be everything, nuts and bolts from a theory standpoint on how to be able to do flight missions. Everything from flight planning, risk assessments, to wireless communications, how to use visual observers, all the resource management from a theory standpoint. If you wanna really sharpen up how to fly drones commercially and professionally, this is a day that you cannot miss. The fourth day is a commercial applications day where we're taking the first three days, putting it all together, and we're doing simulated training missions that you would normally do for commercial flying, inspection work, mapping, or they could be search and rescue, monitoring, a lot of different ways that we can go with that tactical day. Depends on 
who is in the group and what they want to be able to do. They're, they are completely customizable. We also offer everything from one day introduction classes to seven day train the trainer programs tailor made to your specific needs. What sets us apart from other training schools is that we teach you how to fly manually without any automation so that you're prepared to respond to the worst type of situation a pilot can experience. Steel City Drones offers small groups of up to six participants per instructor so that each student gets sufficient one-on-one -on -one instruction. I'm Detective Brent Dukes with Jackson Police Department. Uh, the thing I like most about uh, Steel City Drones on-site training was that from all the way from the setup, the most basic parts of the setup of the drone and the equipment, having an, an expert right there with us to answer any questions we have was so helpful. They offered a comprehensive package including equipment recommendations, training, certification, study guides, everything that we needed to implement this drone and entire department they provided. Uh, some of the training that we got on site was flight planning, um, emergency drone recovery, should the worst case happen, dual flights uh, with two controllers, uh, one operator controlling the drone itself, the other controlling the camera. I would say that as sophisticated of a piece of equipment as this is, it's only as good as the operator who is running it, and the operator is only as good as the training they've received. Um, because there's no way that I would have figured out some of the capabilities of this equipment had I not had uh, David on site as an expert. I'm pretty capable with this type of equipment. I'm, I'm pretty savvy with technology, but there are things that I learned about this because David was there to answer questions in real time that I never would have learned on my own or even with the other uh, members of my department who were flying with me. If I didn't have his expertise in real time, I, there's just capabilities that I would be completely missing out on. My name is Robert Warrington. I'm the budget analyst at the State Training School in Eldora, Iowa. Uh, working with Dave was fantastic. He gave us great guidance and what to look for and you know, kind of his insights and what would really help for our kind of uh, mission that we have here. And by building this, I think it's gonna help the school accomplish what we're looking for. For more information about Steel City Drones training services, please visit our website at steelcityflightacademy.com.